Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. So this is a limited edition set in 148 scale and it is named as Ultimate Tempest. So it comes as a dual combo in 148 scale which copies this famous British fighter aircraft. And we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. And it will be interesting to check what is actually supplied in this nice box. Because it is noticeably heavier than typical limited editions from Edward, so I can guess there should be something heavy inside, I guess. And you can see that box art here is quite nice. Box size is standard for this brand. Here is comparison with my hand. Also, kit number is 11164. Here on the side you can see 10 marking options which are uh, included here inside and because this is a dual combo you can copy 2 out of 10 and on the opposite side you can see the list of the features for this kit so we have plastic for the early and late version of this aircraft we have also book so that's why it is so heavy we have of course the decals, P parts, masks and of course all the plastic was made by Edward. So, by the way, here you can see a small writing on which marking option it is. So, let's open it. It's a top opening box, so that's why it's so easy and quick to open. As you can see, box is literally filled with the spruce, but I guess everything will arrive to you intact because the packaging is quite sturdy. And as far as you can see, box is made out of traditional thick cardboard which is usually used by Edward. Next we start with a clear plastic sprue. So it is packed into a separate Ziploc bag and here we have a circular shaped frame with all the clear parts for this aircraft. Of course these are canopy parts and some of the position lights maybe also we have the target side but that's pretty much all and molding quality seems to be really good and this is a limited edition so we should have masks included so it's just a matter of applying them on these clear parts and of course the overall design is typical so you can open the canopy on your aircraft and expose the cockpit for some models this is really important because they always want to show what is in their model next we continue with the Receivable plastic bag which features gray plastic sprues as well as the clear one, but it's not as simple as it might sound to be So first of all, I will show you this gray plastic sprue So maybe we will not zoom out so that you can see one of the fuselage house as you can see the external features are quite nice here So I would say they're really great for a 148 scale We have recessed panel lines and rivets here So it's just a matter of not losing them when painting this model and here you can see another fuselage half so both are molded together with the front nose section and also we have a tail fin on both rudder is separate and here inside you can see that there is minor cockpit detailing inside mostly these are guiding elements for internal components and of course we have guiding pins here on the bottom and top parts so it will be also easy to combine these two together and you shouldn't be worried about any alignment issues it's all well thought and I really doubt that you have any problems here. Next we continue with the clear sprue which I was mentioning and here you can see why I was saying it's not as simple as it might sound to be because here we have few tank halves and this is a really great addition because um, you can paint them in whatever shade you would like to and as you can see they have this matte finish they're not exactly gloss clear just like canopy parts so do not be worried that these parts will look like a toy, let's say. Next we continue with wing parts. So here we have quite an interesting thing. As you can see flaps are pre-molded on 148 scale aircraft and in case you would like to copy them in a retracted position then you have to get an aftermarket set which is sold separately by Edward. But we have ailerons as a separate parts. So it's quite an interesting decision. Here you can also see the pre-molded pitot tube and external features they look quite nice. So 
if I zoom in so that you can see this, for example, pitot tube and also we have a wing attachment which is also looking rather interesting. But external features, again, I would repeat myself, they look impressive. So they show what Edward can achieve with modern technologies and design. And here, if I flip it over, the same can be said about this wheel wells area. As you can see, we have a lot of things pre-molded. So it's just a matter of adding the cockpit um, on the fuselage and also some of the main wheel wells walls, let's say. And it will be easy because we have here the recessed slots, so you just insert these tabs inside and you'll be good to go. So it's not as scary as it seems to be and I think it might be even doable by beginner. Next we continue with... So actually, why I'm a bit confused, it's not a dual combo, it's a single set kit, but you can choose whether you would like to replicate the early or late version of this aircraft so pay attention and keep it in mind when you will be choosing the marking option because it will define your choice of parts so here we have another plastic sprue and as you can see this one is dedicated to a mix of parts because here we have two types of the propeller we have tail wing parts we have landing gear doors some of the cockpit elements separate ailerons are here separate rudder elevators and everything looks fine if we flip it over here from the other side you can see that all the parts which are divided into two halves for example these tail wings they have the guiding elements so it should be easy to align them together and get them in the right position next we continue with one more plastic sprue so here the most interesting part in my opinion is the nose area elements because we have this uh, one piece o-ring for the nose area and this is really great because you won't have gaps in this quite noticeable section of the aircraft but note that engine is replicated with this simple tab it should be visible through the front opening but in case you do not plan to open the coning on your aircraft then it might be enough in my opinion of course you can also get an aftermarket um, resin set from edward which is part of brassin series but it will be up to you if you would like to go this way obviously it will be a bit more difficult and involving project and you will have to spend a bit more money of course Next we continue with the external armament and landing gear wheels. So for the landing gear wheels we have tires assembled out of two halves, we have separate wheel rims and what is quite interesting, I'm not sure if camera will actually show you, but here we have pre-molded tire manufacturer name. This is something unusual for plastic tires in my opinion and it looks nice, but again of course you can also get the resin replacement from Edward for some additional money. And I'm not sure if we actually get it here. As far as I remember, there were no resin bonuses in this kit, so you have to get them by your own mm, hands and money. Here we also have cockpit walls. They're quite thin, so be careful while separating them, because it will be a tricky thing, and I would rather use the plastic saw, because otherwise you might end up damaging these parts. And while we are talking about the cockpit, so here, for example, you can see the cockpit 4, which is molded as a single piece part. We have also some parts for the nose air intake, landing gear, and some parts also for main wheel wells so for the cockpit you can also upgrade it with a resin replacement it will completely replace the original plastic but again it will cost extra money and it's a uh, i would say quite a noticeable investment so be sure that you are ready for such involvement and of course some skills will be needed for such addition because otherwise you might end up with a not that nice result to be honest Next we continue, so book and assembly manual, I will leave them aside, we will talk about them a bit later. First of all I would like to check the P parts, so P thread comes in a separate small ziplock bag, here we have pre-painted P thread and I would say this is a traditional product for Edward so you shouldn't be worried about any quality issues as you can see we have the cockpit parts of course we have also the glazing on the dials so if I flip it like this you can notice it under the bright light we also have some parts for air intake and all some of the external elements so it's not like the whole metal bonus is going inside the aircraft there are some things which will be also installed outside 
And another tiny plastic bag is dedicated to the mask sheet. So here we have quite an interesting situation because we have masks not only for the canopy but also for landing gear wheels. As far as I can see or no, these are not landing gear wheels, these are actually camouflage elements, but we have some small circles here, so I guess they might be used for landing gear wheels. We will see it in the assembly manual. And one more thing is the pair of large decals sheets. And they were really big, so just give me a second to take them out of the plastic bag. So, first of all we have let's say the main decal sheet. This one is dedicated to all necessary symbols for 10 marking options, as you remember. And because it is printed in Edward, you shouldn't be worried about any quality problems because printing quality from them is really good. I would say one of the best at the moment. So here you can see that there is no segmentation. Pay attention to which symbols you will be cutting out. But really nice thing is that we have these symbols pre-cut, let's say. So that they will be applied in the right way on your uh, Tempest. And this is really good because you don't have to modify the original decals, you get them pre-cut in the right shape straight out of the box. Next we continue with another large decal sheet. So <laughs> with this one I'm not sure why it was printed this way, why it wasn't printed just as a one square decal sheet, but you can see that here we have a lot of stencils. We also have some of the aircraft numbers printed here. So some of them were not able to fit onto the main decal sheet, so that's why they come here. And now we can move to the big and heavy bonus of this kit. So it's a book and as you can see it comes in a plastic wrap which I will have to tear apart. So just give me a second and we will see what is actually included here. So I will throw away the plastic bag. As you can see it's a soft cover printing. And let's open it. So it's written by Christopher Thomas. And as you can see inside we have a lot of, uh, I would say, information about this aircraft type. Obviously it is supplied with the uh, folders of this aircraft and they correspond to the marking options which are supplied in this kit. So this is really great reference material. And obviously a lot of them, a lot of these folders are black and white, but still there is a lot of things which you can copy, for example weathering or maybe some diorama ideas, so this is a really good bonus in my opinion. And next we continue with assembly manual, so this one is printed in form of large brochure, here I will have to open the lenses maybe a bit, because it's really dark, I am not sure why, but here you can see what we have inside. So we have a parts map, we have also here uh, the paints chart, assembly process starts with the pilot seat by the way, and then we continue with the cockpit, but obviously because we start working with the cockpit, we also work with PE parts, because as you remember there is a lot of PE stuff involved in the pilot workspace. Next we continue with this engine tab. And it is quite simple, nothing is copied here, pretty much only the cylinders. Next we continue with the top section of the wing. So here you have to install these separate tabs for the main wheel wells. And also we continue by joining all this stuff together with the lower section. Then we join it together with the fuselage. And here you can also install the cooling part. So you can also modify this top radiator grill by installing the P part. But it's quite a tricky thing to do. And I'm not sure if I would rather go this way. I would rather use the standard plastic part or maybe install the P part on top. It might be also an option in my opinion, but feel free to correct me in the comment section. Next we continue with the ailerons. With ailerons it is quite interesting that each one should be glued out of two halves. Quite unusual design in my opinion. And we also assemble the tail landing gear here. Uh, next we continue with main landing gear. And then we install various minor elements under wing. We install propeller, we decide whether we would like to have open or closed canopy. We also install external fuel tanks, but it will be only for one of the marking options as far as you can see. There are also rocket launchers and masks application guide. As I said, it is useful for the tail wheel 
canopy and also this uh, walk areas on the wing route. So here we have first two marking options. As you can see, these are classical British camouflages. The same goes for this one, but here we have uh, also rocket launchers under the wing. So it might be an interesting appearance for this aircraft. I like this, for example, silver aircraft. It comes from February 1949, so post-war aircraft from Germany, but still quite an interesting combination of the uh, marking and also the armament under wing. Here we continue with the Indian Air Force aircraft and another one from Royal Pakistani Air Forces and two more aircraft coming from Royal Indian Air Force and another one from the same Air Forces and here on the last page of course you will find the stenciling guide for this aircraft so as I'm saying in every review do not be lazy apply all these tiny writings because your aircraft only benefits from such addition but as for the whole kit it should be already available and you can get it on Edward website of course I would recommend to hurry because it's a limited edition so it will be sold out pretty quickly and i will be happy to hear your opinion about such release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye